Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss about throughput units in Azure Cosmos DB. So, throughput unit, it means TU, it means performance. That means more TU, it means more performance. That is Cosmos DB can handle more DB operations. And the unit of throughput is request units per second, that is RU per second. And now guys, important point one cosmos db read request or one cosmos db write request is not one ru for example one cosmos db read request it may be 2.82 ru or it can be 3.71 rus that means rus consumed per db operation depends on a lot of factors and let's quickly see it in portal so guys, we are in Azure portal and let's verify the number of TUs. They may be different for different read write operations. So for example, we are in this test database under that we have this C users container and under items, we can see we have three items. Okay. And now let's click on this new SQL query and let's simply run this select star query. Let's click on execute selection. And if I click on this query stats and if I scroll down, you see request charge, it shows 2.2 RUs. That means this read query, it required 2.29 RUs. Now let's try another example. So for example, here I will say where C dot city, I will mention Mumbai and let's again click on execute query. So again, here we can see the response. And if I again click on query stats, and if I go down, you see this read query, it required 2.82 RUs. So that means one read query or one write query is not equal to one RUs. And again, number of RUs required for different read queries, it might be different. Now guys, there is this capacity calculator and using which we can decide the approximate RUs we need as per our requirement. Okay. And of course, I will share the link in the description of this video. So basically here in this calculator, we have to specify the item size that is the size of our document, then number of point reads per second in max read region, then number of create item requests per second across all regions. So like that. So basically we need to specify this information and using this calculator, we can decide the approximate RU capacity we need. And now coming back to our slide, we can specify throughput at database level or at container level and throughput for database, it gets divided among the containers. And now guys, let's try to understand manual or auto scale mode while specifying the throughput. So we can use manual mode for predictable loads and let's see it in portal. So again, we are in portal and we have opened this Cosmos DB account. We are under data explorer. And so for example, if I'm trying to create a new container, so of course we have to specify the database name, then we have to specify the container name and partition key and all that. But here I can specify the throughput mode as well. So either it's auto, auto scale or manual. So for example, I can select this manual and I can specify RU capacity as 500. So that means this container will always have capacity of 500 RUs per second, irrespective of the load is high or low. And now let's discuss about auto scale mode. So we can use auto scale mode for unpredictable load or when load is high during certain times. And let's try to understand it in detail. So here we will first define max RUs and Azure will start with 10% of max RUs we defined and it will increase RUs as the load increases. For example, if we configured max RU equal to 3000 RU per second, then 
Azure will start with 300 RUs and it can increase it till 3000 RUs. And again, let's see it in portal. So again, while creating this new container or new database. So here I can select this auto scale mode. And you can see that max database RUs we can specify 1000. And here you can see Azure says your database throughput will automatically scale from 100 RUs that is 10% of this 1000 value. So it will automatically scale from 1000 RUs based on usage. And that's it guys. So deciding the mode whether to use manual or auto scale mode and then number of RUs we require that is really an important thing. And to decide it we should have done a thorough analysis.